What's going on everybody? This is Maximilian, and we're doing a little bit of a 100 video celebration here. I figured I'd do something special for you guys since now I've officially hit 100 public YouTube videos. It's quite a milestone, I know. I really appreciate your support and everything that you've done for me in this channel. This has been a fantastic experience, and I would love nothing more than to give back to you guys right now. So, as a celebration, what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you guys a math lesson, because as everyone knows, math is the most enjoyable thing in the whole world, and I mean, come on, who doesn't want to do some calculus? All right, so here's what we do. We got an integral right here. All right, cosine square root x dx. Now, normally, first thing you do is you'd uh, maybe do a trig substitution for this one. First thing that comes to your head is, okay, maybe I have to do a trig substitution because we don't know any integrals for cosine square root of x. But now we actually got to do something a little bit different here. We're going to start with a u substitution. So let's assume that um, we make a variable a. We'll call it square root x, right? Okay, so we're going to make a variable a and we're gonna call it square root x. Now what happens if we square a? If we square a, well a squared is just x, isn't it? So we got a squared equals x. Now if we take the derivative of both sides, we have 2a dA equals dx. Ha ha, finally, now we have something that we can use here. Now normally, if we were trying to do just a standard u substitution on that square root of x, uh, we wouldn't be able to integrate this because as you see here, if we substitute that a in there, we now have 2a, 2 times the integral of a, cosine a dA. Now, we have two separate functions here that we need there, that we are um, deriving with respect to, we're taking the integral with respect to. Uh, since we have function a and a function cosine of a being multiplied by each other, we can't integrate this yet. We have to break it apart. So we're gonna use the, uh, we're gonna use the tactic called integration by parts. It's a very interesting concept. You see, if we um, create a u and a dv such that, um, we have the following here. Give me one second. Here we go. We can follow this method right here. We have integral of u dv equals uv minus integral v du. This actually works. Now, we got to create a u and a dv, and then we can construct this uv minus integral v du and solve for the rest of the problem. So, let's pick a u. Now, an easy u would be a because du is just dA. That takes care of our other variable or other function, rather, of that variable. That's easy. Now, dv, uh, we got only one thing left, so it's got to be cosine a, because u dv has to be a cosine a, so if u is a, dv's got to be cosine a. So dv is cosine a dA. And now, since we have dv here, we got to figure out v. Well, how do we figure out v? we got to integrate dv, right? So uh, v is integral dv, which is just uh, sine a. Awesome. So now we've got our u and our v over here, sorry. U is A, V is sine A. So, first thing we got to get is UV. UV is just A sine A. So, we have A sine A minus integral V du. Now, V right here, as you can see, is sine A, and uh, du is dA. So, we have an integral of sine A dA. Hey, you know what? That sounds really simple. We did that before in Calc 1. We should be able to integrate this really easily. Now, all this is just doing a simple integral and plugging in our, what we originally had for A, which was square root X. So, we have a sine a minus what ends up being a negative cosine a. Remember, that's the integral of sine. Got to be negative cosine. And this comes out to be a sine a plus cosine a. So now that we've evaluated this integral over here, uh, there's only one thing left we have left to do. Uh, first thing we got to do is plug this back into our original integral up here. Because remember, this is what we were solving for. This is what this comes out to be. This integral right here comes out to be a sine a plus cosine a. Now, don't forget about that 2 in front of the integral. See, if you forget that, you'll lose points, and depending on your prof, it may be either a ton of points or not very much, but you never want to risk it with a prof because, uh, trust me, you don't want to leave your grade in the prof's hands ever. Some profs are just crazy, if you know what I mean. All right, so we have a sine a plus cosine a, and all that's multiplied by 2. So this is the solution to our original integral where we had our problem. Now, we just got to plug in our value for a, and if you remember, we said a is just square root of x right here. Huh. Really easy. So, plug in our value for a, which is square root of x, and we get the solution to our integral, which is 2 square root x sine x plus cosine square root x plus some constant. Don't forget that plus some constant because we're evaluating an indefinite integral here. So, if you're going to evaluate an indefinite integral, you have to add a constant to the end because otherwise, again, you're going to lose points. So, that was just a little math lesson for the day, integrating 
a rather what seems to be a tricky integral, but in reality is just a little bit of use substitution and integration by parts. So I hope you enjoyed this math lesson, you guys. Thanks for watching, and as always, thanks for subscribing.